been doing for maybe 12 or 15 years which I call shadow walks um, and that consists of asking people to take me on a walk that is in some way special for them so it might be a very kind of everyday walk or it might be something more significant and as I walk with the people um, I record their conversation and what they say about the walk why it's special um, other things of course crop up in the conversation um, and then my practice is to go back and do the exact same route and this time to remember their walk and to do vocal improvisation just as a response and I record that as well. So the final result is a kind of you know editing which as you can imagine takes weeks and months um, of hours and hours of material bringing it down into one piece. Um, so in this case there were six people that took me to different places in New York and some of them are here tonight which I'm very very grateful for. I think you the back as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. And um, they you know they all had really interesting things to say and great walks as and you've heard some of the things that they said. And this ch gave me the chance to not sort of uh, pin everything down to a stereo piece, you know, everything I've done in the past has ended up in stereo. It might have been in different forms, but it's all been stereo. So it's all been about me deciding every little thing that happens and when it happens. And much gets lost on the way. And I really wanted an opportunity to let let some of the stories continue a little bit. So, you know, you can have overlaps. Um, and you can choose just to be immersed in it and to just take phrases and words that kind of pop out at you so that every person comes away with a different story really because it's a you know their own story made of um, kind of combination of the bits that have you know, stuck out for you or you can choose to make a friend of one of the speakers and uh, just listen to them because each speaker has one of the people that's assigned to it and they don't move between speakers so you know if you particularly want to hear Vicky's story you can sit exactly where she's sitting areas that have been cut by these big transit roofs whether they be Thank you. 